Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we are going to see how to make a game object invisible in Unity. Now there are two ways to make the game object invisible. One option is to uncheck the renderer component and the other option is to use layers and camera settings. So we'll first see how to do it with using renderer. Then we'll see how to make the object invisible using camera settings. So I have a cube in my scene and every game object in the scene has a renderer component and depending on the type of game object the renderer will vary. If it's a sprite it will be a sprite renderer. So in my case it's a cube so it's mesh renderer. So if you just uncheck the mesh renderer you can see that the cube has disappeared but this doesn't mean the cube doesn't exist in the scene. The cube is very much there in the scene and it will still react to physics forces if there's a rigid body and since there's a collider on it the collision detection will also work but it will not be visible to the camera's view since there is no renderer component attached to it now if you want to do this with a script during runtime that is also possible you can just get the mesh renderer component and then set it to false so let's do that we'll create a new script called invisible script okay so it's a new script let's create an ad okay let me open the script in visual studio so first i have to declare a variable of type renderer let's call it rn okay and in my start i'm going to say run equal to get component renderer okay and then we're just going to say render dot set active I'm sorry dot enabled equal to quotes so everything is happening in the start function so as soon as i start my game the renderer should be disabled so let's go back to unity and if i play my game so you can see that the cube has disappeared from the camera but if you look at the hierarchy the cube is still there in the scene it's just not visible so this was one way the other option is using the camera's uh, culling mask so just go to the camera and you'll see a culling mask option you can just select the layer that you don't want to render so if you have many game objects that will be invisible so you can just put them to a new layer so for example let's click on add layer and let's create a invisible layer okay and if you go back to the camera in the culling mask i'm going to uncheck invisible layer hold on let me uncheck this and the mesh renderer is active then the cube is set to invisible layer okay so now as you can see the camera is not rendering the cube because it's in the layer in the invisible layer so if you just switch to a different layer the camera will render it now if you want to do this using code during runtime then you have to create a layer mask for the invisible layer and set that to the culling mask so what we can do is let's go back to the same script now rather than the renderer component we need a layer mask and we'll call this invisible layer mask okay yeah that should be fine and in the start function i'm going to say invisible layer mask is equal to layer mask dot layer to name and then you give the layer name that is invisible layer yep okay uh, sorry it should be name to layer yep 
So this will give you the layer mask of the invisible layer. Since we want to remove it, we have to invert it. So we'll say invisible layer mask is equal to put the symbol uh, invisible layer mask. Okay, then we have to assign it to the camera. So we say camera dot main dot culling mask is equal to one left shifted by invisible layer mask. Okay, so now let's go to Unity and we'll set the camera to basically display everything. And when we play the game, the camera, I guess something didn't work. The culling mask was not assigned to the camera. No, that's because the script was set to inactive. So I'll just set the script to active and then play the game. Okay, it works. So these are the two methods you can use to make your game object invisible during runtime. And this camera technique can be used when you have multiple cameras and you you don't want some objects to be rendered in one camera and should be rendered in other camera then you can put them in the same layer and use layer mask to make them invisible thank you and see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share